in his uh, first John 2.18. During the end time, many anti-Christ shall come. Fortunately, majority Christians who belong to here in post-millennialist, the anti-Jesus, not anti-Father God. Why anti-Christ? John, John here, yeah, John, in AD 85, John wrote 1 John. In AD 85, John wrote 1 John and 2 John and 3 John. Write down, write down what I'm saying here. Okay. In AD 85, John wrote, how many Johns? First John, second John, third John. Okay. Now, in his uh, first John 2.18, this is a very uh, important uh, Bible verse which you should uh, remember. Okay, here in First John two eighteen, he said this. He said, "During the end time, see, when when he said during the end time, end time means during the end time means what does end time means? First coming of." Jesus to the second coming of Jesus. That is the end time. We studied that already. And also that means that is a church period. Okay? Church period. That is end time. We are living in an end time of end times. So write down all my words. We are living in an end time of end times. So we are living in when? End time of end times. Within the church period. Church period means end time. Starting the first coming to second coming. That's the end time. Okay? Now, Holy Spirit taught John that John, during the end time, many Antichrist, it's, it's a plural, shall come. He said that. Many Antichrist shall come. Many end time. That means that in entire church period, there, there will be many Antichrist, plural, shall appear during the church period of time. That was the prediction. That was a prophesied prophecy. Okay? Okay, now John continu continuously received the message on Antichrist. Here, in 1 John chapter 2, 22, same chapter, verse 22, the Holy Spirit taught John by saying this, who is Antichrist? Okay? Then he says here, he is a liar that denies that Jesus is the Christ. This is important. It, it's a definite article. Jesus is the Christ. You see here, don't forget this word. This is a very crucial word here. Antichrist is who? Who is a liar, okay, who denies Jesus is the Christ. 
not a Christ. He is the means. Jesus is the only Christ. Okay. Now, then, then we will say, okay, that what do you mean by Christ? Write down. Write down. What is the meaning of Christ? Then, Christ. Right here, I am talking here. What is the meaning of Christ? In Greek word, Christos. Christos. In Greek word, Christos. The Christos means, are you following me? Christos means the one who is anointed, anointed as the Savior, as the Savior, who is anointed as the Savior. That's a very long name. Christos means who is anointed as the Savior. Savior means Jesus. Jesus means Savior. In Matthew 121. Okay, meaning Jesus, Jesus. It's, 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 in Greek word, it's Jesus. In Greek word, Jesus means the one who saves his own people. That is in Matthew 121. So now, I'm telling you, meaning Jesus, meaning is what? The one who saves, Savior, Savior. Jesus, okay? And what is the Christus? Who is anointed as the Savior. You have to make the, you, you, you differentiate those two meanings. Christus means what? The one who anointed as the Savior. Christus. And Jesus means who is the Savior for his people. That's why we always combine together Jesus Christus. Okay? That means Savior who anointed as the Savior. Jesus means Savior. Christus means the one who anointed as the Savior. That's why it comes together. Jesus Christus. Christus, Jesus, it combined together. You see, over the definite article, the, the one who anointed as the Savior, the Christ, the Savior, only. Okay? Now, here, John was prophesied by the Holy Spirit here in 1 John 2.18 by saying this, During the church period, there shall be many anti-Christ. Anti-Christ. In other words, it's anti-Christ will come. In other words, it's a it's a false Christ will come, not a true Christ. Now, then, in the Greek word, what do you mean by anti? Anti means anti. This is the Greek word, anti. Anti. It's a Greek word, anti. Anti means that there are four Four meanings hidden inside. Okay, four meanings composed in within the anti terminology. Okay, now number one, 
Ante means against. First, against. Second meaning, in opposition. In opposition. In opposition. And also, anti means in place of. In place of means instead of. Instead of. And finally, anti means false. So there are four meanings uh, behind the anti. Okay? Which means, anti Christ means who is against true Christ. The against meaning. Okay? Anti Christ means who is against. True Christ. It looks like a true Christ, but it's not. That's Antichrist. And also, that he stands in opposition of true Christ. It always opposed to true Christ. If you, we, we do not have distinctive spirit, you cannot make distinctions over in this issue. Okay? Now, also, substitute in place of this true Christ also is in place of okay, false Christ, it's, 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 it's a false Christ always stands in place of true Christ. It, it looks the same. It looks the same. You can't make distinctions. And also, it's a false Christ. That's not true Christ. So, anti means, let me repeat again, for, for meaning, against, in opposition, in place of, and false. That's anti. Okay? Now, here, John was prophesied, he was told by the Holy Spirit that during the church period, from the first coming to the second coming period, in, 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 it, it is a divine plan, it is a divine God's plan, he would allow antichrist, singular, not singular, plural, Many antichrists appearing within the church community. Okay? Within the church community, not outside of the church community. Within the church community, in, a, in, 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 in church community, such as denominations, I say Roman Catholics, Orthodox churches, Protestant churches, within the church communities, God allows to uh, have many anti-Christ running around, okay, running around and teaching Christians as their stumbling blocks. So many Christians will be stumbling blocked. That was God's training program of true Christ. Okay? True Christ. So the Christians during the church period of time, Christians should study thoroughly in its entirety who the true Christ is. Namely, thorough study of Christology and Trinity. You should understand Trinity first, then who is Jesus? Christology, the doctrine of Trinity and doctrine of Christology. 
in order to teach the true identity of doctrine of Trinity and the doctrine of Christology, it was God's training method allowing wrong Christ surrounded, prevailing within the church community. Bad guys always around. If you are not equipped with the full armor of God, you will be tempted by, you will be trapped by it. That was God's teaching methodology. For example, write down for example. Here, air pollution. Today, hardly we can find the pure, clean air. See, in the midst of the polluted air, you will be seeking for clean air. You will be anxious to have clean air. Without the dirty air, you will not have that anxiety. You will not have that uh, wishful thinking uh, over the clean air. You will not anxious to have clean air. You gotta have the dirty air surrounded, unable to breathe well. So it is the bad air would be God's design for your seeking for, desiring for pure and clean air. In the same way, dirty water, dirty water, always seeking for purified water. Without the purifying water, Okay, without the purifier, you will not have pure water. In other words, we Christians, we have received Jesus Christ at the free of charge, free of charge, without, without our effort. That was God's free gift. By way of a grace, it is a human nature as we receive the valuable gift free. Often we do not value it so much. We will not appreciate that valuable gift much. That the human nature that is a human weaknesses. Omniscient God foreknew this. Omniscient God, prior to his creation of human, foreknew human weaknesses where he would not value the Jesus and his saving gift. So it was God's plan to make Jesus more valuable, more precious. He would allow bad Jesus, wrong Jesus, anti-Jesus, okay, anti-Christ surrounded of us and bothering us, bothering us so that we would wake up. That was God's way of training God's people during the church period. This is what I, I just use this, this terminology. This is a, my way of terminology is dysfunctional counter horse training method. You know, in a horse riding, horse race, 
always there a counter horse right beside to facilitate the winning horse running faster, faster, giving the horse stimulus that we call counter horse always along with that winning horse. So winning horse riding always a counter horse right beside. So the counter horse is very, it runs very speedy, almost the same speed as that winning horse. Okay? To facilitate the winning horse to win. To, to give, give the winning horse more strength and power. That is a counter horse. So I would say this functional counter horse training method. Antichrist. Okay? It's the the opposite word of dysfunctional is a net functional. It's it's a net functional means is it's a true Jesus. Okay? Without without dysfunctional counter horse, we would not value much the net functional Jesus. Are you following me? Yeah. That was uh, God's way of training his people, who Jesus is. Okay? Allowing anti-Christ. You see, the point is this. Anti-Christ. Bible would never said anti-Jesus. So that's the, not today, but next time I will teach you why anti-Christ. Okay, no, there's no such anti-Jesus recorded in the Bible. No anti-Jesus. Always anti-Christ. Because here, John was told by the Holy Spirit that during this time, church period time, there will be many anti-Christ shall come. Not anti-Jesus. There is a reason behind that, okay, which I'll tell you later, not today. Now, actually, here, during the time of church period, Jesus even allowed many antichrist running around from the first century all the way up to now. In in the church community. Okay. See, anti-Christ. See, not anti-Jesus. Not anti-Father God. Are you writing down? Not anti-Jesus. Not anti-Father God. Not anti-the Holy Spirit. Nothing but here, anti-Christ. Which is a very crucial point. That means that during the time of church period, it will be many wrong Christ appearing and misguiding God's people and Trap them down, they will be misguided, misguided, and they will be mistreated, and many will fall into uh, wrong places. Now here, you can see during the first century and second century, all the way the first, the early church period, you will see denial of 100% deity of Jesus. Doctrines uh, prevailed, okay, within the church community. Ebionism, we have studied that. Ebionism is denial of 100% deity of God, deity of Jesus. 
they, they said that within it, there was a Galatian church at the time that Jesus is not 100% God. Jesus is 100% human. That is Ebionism, first century, and Arianism, fourth to fifth century. Arianism means Jesus is 100% human. He is not 100% God. Okay? That's Antichrist. Also, in opposite here, denial of 100% humanity of Jesus. In other words, here, Gnosticism means Jesus is 100% God, but not 100% human. That is also Antichrist teaching. Okay? Docketism is the same. Denying 100% humanity of Jesus. They, even the Docketism says, Jesus is 100% God, but he is not 100% human. That's a wrong teaching. Now, what is the right teaching? It was decided here in Chalcedon Council, okay, 451. In the Chalcedon, Council of Chalcedon, okay, church leaders gathered together, and because of all these wrong teachings on Jesus, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, they declared Jesus is 100% human, also 100% God. That is traditional biblical identity of Jesus. Let me repeat, 100% God, 100% human. So, deity of Jesus and humanity of Jesus, 100%. In the Chalcedon Council, after they determined this, then they adopted Mariology. That is also anti-Christ. Mary worshipping. And Mary became a, a mediator between us and Jesus. That is not a biblical. That is also teachings on anti-Christ. Now, now today, religious pluralism also is predominantly teaching anti-Christ. Christ, which I will teach you sometime later. Now, here, Freemason teachings, G Jesuit teachings, Illuminati, WCC, all their teachings relate to Antichrist teachings. We will study it later. And Revelation 13, two beasts, and Babylon the Great, and Revelation chapter 17, 18, all these two beasts in chapter 13, Revelation, all these are teachings on Antichrist. Now, during the time of uh, end time, end time of end time, which is today, okay, these Antichrist teachings are very, very popular. Uh, among the Christians, okay, uh, they are now in majority within church community today. It's very difficult to distinguish, okay, among the Christians whether he is a true Christian or not. So it's a very difficult time that we are living in the area of this anti-Christ issue. For that reason, we are now studying thoroughly the, you know, four doctrines of end time, eschatology. It is your mandate to teach your people as a servant of God to make these distinctions and raising up the questions on this anti-Christ issues and leading them, leading them 
truly what Bible says about this. That we will study furthermore the next week. Okay? So now it is the Antichrist among the post-millennialists is very popular. And post-millennialism teachings are associated with Antichrist teachings. As opposed to uh, other three doctrines, namely, armial, historical, and dispensational, they are against teachings of Antichrist, what we call evangelicals. Okay? Unfortunately, majority Christians who belong to here in post millennialist here, Roman Catholics, Orthodox churches, and WCC member denominations, they all in line with post-millennialism, teaching and allowing those anti-Christ teachings that we will study further later more. So, in your prayer, you prepare yourself for upcoming teachings. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, we want to give you glory as we are now preparing for upcoming anti-Christ issues and reveal to us uh, and expose all these uh, hidden mysteries uh, uh, recorded in the Bible uh, for our better understanding of end time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Amen.